Right, so today we're going to look at uh, how to rotate an object. So I've got my um, hexagonal prism here and I want to rotate it so it's um, going along the way instead of up and down. So what we do is when we click on an object, um, you'll find, you'll see when you, we'll zoom in actually, you can see this arrow that has um, two heads on it, which is going either direction. And the same as one down there. Now, if you click on that, on the outer part of the circle, it'll give you exactly the number and in increments of one. And going up in rotation, we'll leave that at zero. But if you click on the inner circle where the increments are bigger, it will do to 22.5 degrees at a time. So you can get more accurate if you're 90 degrees. So I'm going to go for 90 degrees there. And then if I want to change the other direction, I can rotate either using my um, camera cube in the top left. I don't think that's the actual name for it, but we'll call it that for now. Um, we change the angle there. And then as we zoom in, we can see that there's now an option for here, here, or here. So it's still in the shape of a square. I think you can still see it as a, a cuboid shape, even though it's a hexagonal prism. Um, but I'm going to use this one and I'm going to inside rotate it exactly 90. Now, luckily for this shape, it's rotated all above the work plane. Um, however, it is not touching it. So I need to drop it slightly um, just to make sure it is flat. There we go to zero. Okay, so that's really how you rotate a shape. It's quite straightforward. You click on the objects that you want to rotate. And you sometimes might have to move your angle to better see what way you want to um, rotate it. But then you can play around with it and rotate it however you want. You want it an angle, maybe if you want a precise angle of uh, say 55 degrees, I can do that. Um, I could then rotate it around this way if I wanted to, 45 degrees. Again, you can switch between the two. You can go one increment at a time or doing 22.5 increments at a time. And um, it's up to you what you want. So I can change that into there. And then I can also rotate it this way and that kind of gives me that different angle and again sometimes you have to check and it might go under so then you just have to click on it and use this little black cone to raise it above and it'll tell you in the bottom right how much it is either above or below the work plane and so i want it to be at zero so click there get it to zero and now i can see that it's touching the work plane um perfectly and there you have it that's how you rotate an object in Tinkercad.